ah, the things that excite Ugandans. Do you want to know what uh, people are excited about right now? Well, a tweet that was put out by a cabinet minister by the name of uh, Evelyn Anite. You might know uh, who she is. She's a minister of something. I don't even know what, like, who cares, right? But uh, she's a bit of a cantankerous political actor. Uh, she, among other things, uh, besides being useless as a politician and as a public servant, she mostly likes to spend her time uh, frolicking about with her husband. I believe she got married recently. And she has this habit of constantly posting images uh, showing her and her husband engaged in uh, public displays of affection. They'll be out and about in a park somewhere, uh, in some fancy place. Uh, they'll be hand in hand or they'll be hugging. And uh, lately, she's been posting pictures of them kissing okay now in her most recent post in which she uh, was uh, shown kissing her husband eh, well that uh, sparked a lot of debate on social media and up to now people are calling her out uh, first of all there is the whole thing about how it might be unbecoming of a public official of her stature to be posting pictures of herself engaged in kissing the act of kissing like isn't that like supposed to be just uh, not something a minister should do like if Sheila Gashumba posted a picture of herself kissing uh, Rickman or something yeah we would expect that from a Sheila right but the uh, whole cabinet minister uh, you think uh, such an action would be sort of beneath them to be posting pictures of themselves kissing that's we don't need to know that uh that's number one number two the kiss itself my goodness you know i've joked several times uh, here on this show and on social media that uh, perhaps what we need uh, much as we like to talk about our educational curriculum and how we need to teach all sorts of courses that are relevant to the modern economy uh, what we need also is a new curriculum that incorporates aspect of aspects of how to kiss because Ugandans don't know how to kiss. Have you ever seen a photograph of a Ugandan couple kissing and it looks mm, normal or natural? The pictures that are often posted of people kissing in this country tend to be, uh, they, they, they tend to strike us as being very awkward uh, and goofy and uh, rather than kissing, a lot of times the couples that post these pictures are engaged in some sort of tug of war with their lips. Or if not, they're actually literally trying to suck the life out of the other person. And that was the case in the recent uh, kissing photograph posted by uh, Minister Evelyn Anite. And people were calling her out on it. Like, what is this even? So aside from the fact that as a minister, you probably shouldn't be doing stuff like that. But really, even as a human being, you don't even know how to kiss. So please, uh, if you don't know what you're doing, don't embarrass yourself by posting all of these uh, goofy pictures. And as it happens, even the president has previously spoken out about uh, public displays of affection uh, and in response to issues relating to, let's say, LGBT rights, the Anti-Homosexuality Act, and even on issues like oral sex. He uh, normally likes to say that, uh, first of all, that these are un-African things, this is foreign and all that, he will say that. And even when it comes to something as seemingly benign as kissing, he will say that is private. He's given speeches about how he says, hey, for example, example if i were to kiss my wife janet you guys would think i was crazy uh, I, I think he said that on a few occasions if i kissed my wife in public i will i will lose all the elections in uganda because africans don't show don't show what is private they don't show it in public if you want to kiss you know where you know the address of kissing where it is and he's right. A lot of this stuff should be private. And if you are going to kiss and post a picture of yourself kissing, at least uh, you need to look like you know what you're doing. <laughs> because the photograph looks so goofy, so weird, so unromantic, and dare I say, gross, disgusting. Honorable Anita, you do not know how to kiss. So either watch some tutorial videos on kissing, watch more Hollywood movies and, uh, I don't know, K-dramas and whatever else is out there that'll teach you how to kiss someone and look like a human being while you're doing it. Because whatever it is you're putting out there is gross, it is grotesque, it is just uh, freaky and weird. Uh, we just don't need to see it. How about instead of trying to show us how happy you are as a couple, and that's another thing, how many times has it been discussed how couples that constantly try to show how happy they are are anything but, usually? Uh, it's a 
kind of overcompensating if you could say for people to want to keep broadcasting how happy they seem so wherever you see couples posting pictures where they're like too much in love so in love they're on cloud nine usually such pictures are are meant to do one of two things to uh keep away uh potential rivals you know or maybe staking your claim because you're like super insecure right and uh, you think uh, there's someone out there trying to make moves on your man so you want to kind of make them know that you are the main person in their life so you broadcast such goofy pictures and also uh you are trying to seek validation from the public for a relationship you might be in in which you may not be happy so behind closed doors for all we know it could all just be drama arguments fights and she people keep posting stuff like that trying to make it look like they're happy uh and yet uh, they're not so there there's something definitely weird going on and from every imaginable angle this whole stunt it it just backfired for the minister okay so first of all it's it's un african it's it's unbecoming of a public servant especially of high uh, stature as yours such a high stature a minister uh and then it doesn't look like you even know how to kiss so there's that plus uh, this validation seeking that there's something ultimately wrong about that and even if you were not a public figure honestly anyone involved in a romantic relationship by the time you feel you need to desperately portray yourselves to be a happy couple it means there is something weird going on so i'm guessing she's a, a very troubled person probably not very happy uh, very insecure and i don't know if uh, you know maybe her friends are going to pull her aside and uh, have a word with her although <laughs> she seems like such a narcissist i don't think she'll be responsive to such advice maybe the president can call her out i don't know isn't it against the law to engage in such activities uh isn't there i don't know uh, el- el- the electronic uh, uh, what is that law about things you post on social media is she not violating some of those statutes in there about uh, misusing uh, electronic communications or something like that isn't there a law that uh, could be looked into and really just good manners she is certainly violating the core principles of good manners and uh, she needs to do better you need to do better honorable anita my goodness and people are clowning her on social media and the irony is the more people clown her the more people troll her uh you know she just keeps going on she just keeps uh, posting uh, even more and more such goofy pictures when will it end when you have to, to when you you come to us how you are kissing how you Huh? People are kissing in the public. Why don't you go in your privacy? What is the problem? Here we don't do things like that.